Hi, I'm Laura with Red Desert Fiddle and Red Desert Violin. I'm very excited to announce my latest, greatest video tutorial, Fiddle Secrets. Beginners are easily overwhelmed by the flash whiz bang of advanced fiddle players. There's so many multiple layers of complicated skills happening simultaneously, it's impossible for a beginner to decipher or identify everything that's going on. Learning about each layer separately is key. So in the Fiddle Secrets tutorial, we examine three of the main fiddle skills. Those are bowings, chords, and ornaments. Bowings are probably the heart and soul of fiddle playing. They allow us to rhythmatize our music and they add that danceable quality to your playing. In this course, we will learn the four most common bowing patterns. The Nashville Shuffle, the Georgia Shuffle, Cinco Shuffle, and the Hokum Bowing. We'll examine those at, in great depth and you'll get tablature and sheet music both for people who read music and people who don't read music. Um, to help you to internalize these, I'll give you exercises. We'll plug them into scales and finally into a simple fiddle tune. Not only that, but I will teach you certain common derivatives of these fiddle bowings because often you'll be listening to a fiddle tune and you'll be thinking, wow, what is that bowing that they're doing? It's not this, this or that you'll realize, oh, it's just a variation on the Nashville Shuffle. So you'll more easily be able to identify what your favorite fiddlers are doing so that you can imitate and emulate them. Chords are what allow us to be great rhythm players. We can support the other people in our band who might be taking a solo. We can play back up. Chords also elevate our playing from beginning to intermediate and advanced. In this Fiddle Secrets course, I will teach you how to read a chord chart. I will show you all of the various configurations of chords on your fiddle fingerboard. You will get downloadable uh, graphics of your fiddle fingerboard and all the various possibilities and combinations of the simple chords that we use in fiddle playing. By the time you're through this course, you'll have a huge chord vocabulary to choose from. Ornaments are what make a simple fiddle tune sound incredibly complex. Years ago, before I even started to learn to fiddle, I, I loved the, the fiddle tune from the movie The Last of the Mohicans, and I decided I was going to learn it. It sounded like it was all in first position. It couldn't be that hard. I sat down and started listening to it and figuring it out, and it, I was overwhelmed in five minutes. So much was going on. I gave up. Years later, I heard the same tune and I could not believe that was the same tune that had stumped me years before. I could easily identify all the ornaments that were, that were decorating this simple melody. That's a cut, that's a roll, another roll, a short roll, fat, you know, and I had it learned in five minutes. It was just a simple melody with tons of ornaments on it. Ornaments make Irish music sound Irish. Ornaments are unfortunately, very complicated, unnecessarily complicated. And that's because they're non-standardized in the fiddle world and they vary from player to player, from country to country, from county to county. Um, there's just a lot of variety. And not only that, people call the same ornament by various names. And so it really gets overwhelming very quickly. In this fiddle course, I've I've tried my best to give you the most common name of each ornament and common aliases or other names that that same ornament often gets called. You will learn how to do the ornament just stripped down to the bare bones and we work on the timing of it and then we learn to plug it into just a couple of fiddle tunes so that to learn 15 ornaments you don't have to learn 15 tunes. I chose some very versatile tunes so that you can work on all of your ornaments on just a couple fiddle tunes. To learn more about this Fiddle Secrets course, click on the link and solve the mystery once and for all. I'll see you there.